working on how your body is breathing. It'll also help you reduce your blood pressure. Try getting comfortable. Sit on a chair. Focus on your body. Close your eyes. Bring the attention to how you're feeling. Take three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. And you may have even told your own children this before. It's okay for your mind to wander. It's natural and it's expected. Maybe you're even somebody who likes to meditate. There's not really a set way to get through these stressors, but think of things that work for you, really identifying what's brought you to it. Because again, if we are stressed, you're never gonna have positive interaction with anybody. The reason that we're talking about how to deal with these stressors is because if we don't deal with the stressor, we're not going to have a positive communication with our ex-spouse who we're going through a divorce with or after a divorce as well. You could do yoga, Pilates, swim, a very simple one, take a walk, sleep, Sleep can really be hindered when you're going through a divorce. So you want to make sure that you're also getting a good sleep because your body needs that rest. 